All right, Gina, first of all, um, let's just talk about what's kind of racing through your mind right now as far as, as possibly your final match here at Kalen Center. Um, well, it's kind of weird to think about. I try not to think about it, but um, I hope that we do end up winning these next few matches um, so that we do have a really good chance of posting, so it won't be my last match. When you woke up this morning, what was your kind of routine uh, as far as what you were kind of thinking? Did you have maybe a particular moment in the past, in the last four years, that you thought, you know, this is what I'm going to miss about being here? Um, well, I think I more so thought about, um, you know, I wake up and Zoe and Kimmy, they're pretty much my roommates, so I think I just kind of took a moment to realize how far that we've come together and how they've become some of my best friends I've ever had. How nice was it for uh, Zoe to start tonight and play pretty well in the first couple sets for us? Um, I was really, really happy for her. She completely deserved that, and um, I'm really excited that she came out and did really well. Uh, two strong matches, uh, tough matches next weekend at Oregon and Oregon State. Uh, three matches up in the season. What's going to be your focal point as, as a team captain to kind of get this team going towards the NCAA tournament? Um, I'm going to make sure that we focus on ourselves because that's what most that's what's most important when we go into the tournament but maintaining confidence and hopefully coming out with three W's to finish off the season. Can you explain why Kimmy Rolliter is all the way down the hall and not interested in wanting to talk to us here? Because she's you explain? my roommate, best friend, classmate, teammate. Kimmy just a quick thought. Um, what did you think about tonight and being able to share this with Gina and Zoe tonight? Um, I don't think I'd rather have any two people that I would share it with. I absolutely love these girls to death. They are everything to me. And I'm just, I'm so excited that um, I got to share it with them and we get to finish out the season together and go through spring. She has missed the entire 2010 season after suffering a knee injury in the spring, but has continued to support the women of Troy as a team co-captain. Here with her parents, Dan and Carol, and sisters, Rachel and Lydia, number 21, Kimmy Rollinger! <laughs> the nine blocks in a sweep from Washington State on October 10, 2018. She recorded 81 kills last year and earned Pac-10 Conference All Academic Honorable Mention Recognition. This season she has played in 14 matches for the Women of Troy with her best effort, coming with 10 kills on August 28th against Cal State Fullerton. Here are the parents, Greg and Sally, and Sister Kelly, number 32, Zoe Kara. Kills while hitting 469 against Idaho State. She also earned Pac-10 Conference All Academic Second Team honors after posting a 3.69 grade point average. This year, she has a 3.74 grade point average. So we're working with four Number two, 